Hi, and welcome back to the fifth episode of Space News of the Week. A lot happened this past week. A new stunning image from the JWST, NASA is developing robots, and the biggest simulation of the universe ever. Let's get into it. At this point, we should be no stranger to receiving absolutely beautiful images from the James Webb Space Telescope. This past week, the JWST took this snapshot of the Sombrero Galaxy, which is positioned about edge-on from our view, hence the name. Not only is the image incredibly detailed, it revealed some interesting data regarding the galaxy's star formation. Using its mid-infrared instrument, the JWST identified several dense clumps of gas located in the outer edges of the galaxy. These clumps are believed to be star-forming regions. Through careful analysis of these regions, has revealed that the Sombrero Galaxy produces less than one solar mass of stars annually, about half the Milky Way's rate. This amount may be shocking to hear, but it tracks as we are living in one of the most calm eras of the universe. Next, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is developing robots that can explore under thick ice sheets. These robots are specifically designed for Jupiter's moon Europa. The robots are already far into development, being actively tested in the Arctic. Ice node scientists shoot the robots through the sheet of ice into the ocean below, testing the water's salinity, temperature, and flow data. Though we are a long way from seeing these robots in space, their contributions are allowing JPL scientists to calculate how quickly the Arctic snow shelves are melting and how that may affect rising sea levels. Finally, the world's second strongest supercomputer ran the largest simulation of the universe ever. The Frontier supercomputer, located at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, operates at 1.1 exaflops, which is about 1.1 quintillion floating point operations per second. For reference, that is more powerful than over a million iPhones combined. The simulation included both dark matter and normal matter, making it one of the most advanced simulations to date, probing over 31 billion cubic megaparsecs, or about 0.25% of the observable universe. Though the results of the simulation have not yet been released, they are expected to give us great insight into early star and galaxy formation. Anyway, that's it for this week's episode of Space News of the Week. In the meantime, stay curious, keep looking up, and I'll see you all next time.